Hey, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Um, if you're new, thanks for checking this out. Um, today we're going to talk about something pretty quickly. It's the subperiosteal abscess. Um, typically when you're going to see this is, this just, let's just say your son Justin had his wisdom teeth out uh, nine days ago. Days two and three is kind of the worst, start getting a little bit better every day after that. But then on day seven or eight, starts to have some pain, some swelling in the area. So you take them into the office, have them checked out, Sitting in the chair and, you know, what you can do quickly in the office to get the get these people on their quick path to recovery is just drain that really quickly. And a lot of times you don't even need anesthesia to get it started. Um, you know, you take a probe and this is another time I use a probe. And if you've you've seen some of my videos on my other channel, um, you'll you see me use a probe a few weeks ago to take a, a little piece of root off of a nerve. <laughs> and so I flicked it off with the probe. So it's another time I used a probe. Um, that video got shadow banned, by the way, it got me shadow banned. So that was pretty not cool of Instagram to do that. But anyways, um, I used a probe and a piece of gauze. So you, you go in there and real gently put the probe behind that second molar and you'll see that you don't really have to create a space. that's already there. Just kind of gently ease it in. And then once it's in a little bit, pull it out towards the gums. And then you'll usually open up a little space where you'll get some pus to drain out. And that really helps. And then once you do that, you can use a syringe or a monoject. And I just use some Paradex or something, chlor chlorhexidine, inject in there and quickly flush stuff out. It's, it's, it's a pretty quick flush. You don't, don't just tease it in there. You want to just empty that syringe quickly. Um, and then you'll see it'll come out murky and then it'll get, get kind of pink sometimes. And then you just got to make sure, you know, you get the food out. So once it's clear, this time, I, you know, in the video, you'll see I did it three times. Um, and once it's clear, then you know you got pretty much everything out. And, you know, plus or minus start them on some antibiotics and do a follow-up check on them. And that usually speeds up the recovery a lot. Um, so pretty common procedure. If you take enough teeth out or you do enough, um, or if you just work in a dental office, you're going to see this, really. Um, so without ado, let's just get into the video. So you're going to see me with my trusty probe in my right hand. And I'm just going to take it gently behind that second molar and just kind of ease it in. And once it's in a little bit, you'll see that pus come out from the distal, the back, back side of that tooth. And then once it starts draining a little bit, you know, clean it up or suction it, you know, whatever you have in the room. And then I use that uh, chlorhexidine syringe and then it just quickly flush food out. It gets a little murky and then it clears up again. You'll see some food just pop right out of there. So that's basically it. Um, and then you put them on some antibiotics if they need to as well. And then that should clear up pretty much all the time. 